Today's question is knowing when to attach things together. And we'll go over that in just a few seconds. This is the Creative Crafters Podcast. Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and this is your questions answered. Now, the question is all about knowing when to attach. And my answer to that is when should you not attach rather than attach? Well, there's a couple of things that happen within design space that uh, are really important for you to understand. For example, if you have two things that you want to um, have on top of each other, for example, a heart shape and some text, but and you want that text in that position on top of that shape, that means you select the shape and the text in the right position, you select them together and you attach them. So it's allowing the machine to put those two items together on the mat in the order that you want them, and that is attached. Now, if you just group something and you went to the mat, it would uh, go to different mats because things are different colors. Once you attach something, every shape that you have is going to change to the color of the mat that it's going to use. So if I put a red heart, a green square and a yellow star together and as soon as I put them in the order that I want them and I don't want them to move if I selected them all and clicked attach they would all change color to the color of the mat that it's going to be on and then they would stay in that order in that position and then shapes would be cut out according to what you had selected so for example if you're just doing a card and you made a card uh, 10 wide and 5 high and then you wanted a score line, you'd make that score line 5 high, select them both, center it, and then if you just grouped it and you went out to your mats, you would find the score line would come on one mat and the card on another. What you absolutely need to do is highlight both of them and attach them and that means the score line will be on that shape and then it will be on the same mat and it'll be in the exact position you want. Now you can attach anything that you want but just remember they're going to cut out on the same mat all together so once you attach it's on the same mat in the position that you want to have it and that's when you would use attach. Now grouping is not going to do anything for you. You must attach items if you don't want them to move. I'll give you one more little example and I discovered this for print then cut is I make a shape of perhaps uh, eight and a half by 11 but we know it doesn't cut out that wide so I made the shape 6.75 wide and 9.25 high and I know that's the shape and the size that I want and then I can place my print then cut items inside that shape to make sure everything fits the way I want it. Once I have it there the way I want it I can delete that rectangle that I made, highlight everything else that would have fit in that shape and attach it or flatten it and then it will all come out on one sheet of paper. So that is where attach comes in. Attach simply means I'm attached together and we go as a unit on the mats or we stay as a unit on the canvas. Whereas as a group, we are a loose group when we come onto the canvas and if we go out to the mats, we're all separated out on different mats. So I hope that answers your question because it is really important to know that attaching is going to make your projects a little easier. This has been the Creative Crafters podcast and your questions answered.